Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Monday, April 17th, 2023. It is 2.25 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York, and this is my Coping the Schizophrenia blog entry for today. Um, I haven't made a video in a while because my paranoia has been really bad lately. My auditory hallucinations have been very intense. Um, my depression has been pretty severe. My anxiety levels are kind of through the roof right now. Um, I'm just trying to get back on my daily schedule. Things have been tough over the past couple of days and weeks with my psychiatric symptoms kind of fluctuating in all kinds of different directions. Um, I did see my psychiatrist on Friday. We did add um, an emergency dose of five milligrams of Zyprex if I need it if my paranoia, delusions, and auditory hallucinations get really intense. Of course, I still have the option of taking the Zyprexa with clonopin. The clonopin helps with the anxiety. It doesn't do much with the psychosis, but it does relieve some of my anxiety. Um, but uh, it's important for me to stick to my daily schedule because it keeps me structured. It keeps my mind occupied. Um, I just finished doing some consumer surveys, which I do to occupy my time and make a little extra money. Um, some of the survey sites I use are Survey Junkie, um, QMe.com, um, and a few others. Um, I'm still doing uh, daily meditation three times a day. Um, I use different uh, meditation channels on YouTube, um, like uh, Meditation Vacation, um, Michelle Sanctuary, Michael Seeley, uh, Christian Thomas, Tansy Forrest, and a few others. There's a lot of good uh, meditation self-hypnosis videos on YouTube. And I use those to help control some of my insomnia and my anxiety and my fears. Um, I don't know what meditation does directly for psychotic symptoms, but it certainly helps me fall asleep easier and reduces my overall anxiety levels. Um, I don't have a therapist appointment in me, I believe, until next week. And then I'm not seeing the psychiatrist again until... Uh, June 2nd, because that's the earliest I could get an appointment. He was booked up until then, um, but he will still be filling my prescriptions, my prescriptions um, electronically. Um, I do have some prescriptions at the pharmacy that I need to pick up tomorrow. I ordered them today. I think I'll, I have four new prescriptions I have to pick up. Um, but uh, generally, I'm doing okay. Physically, I'm still in pain in my right knee. I had surgery on May 13th of last year, and my knee still hurts from the surgery. They removed uh, a large portion of my meniscus, which is sort of like the shock absorber of the knee. Um, I have to do daily physical therapy for my knee. Um, to try to reduce the overall pain and keep it flexible. I also do physical therapy for my lower back. And um, I have a stationary exercise bike that I use um, in my apartment. Uh, I do have a regular bicycle. I haven't taken it out yet. Um, it's April. The weather started to get a little bit better here in Rochester. In Rochester, but... Uh, it was raining earlier today, but yesterday was a pretty nice sunny day out. Um, so maybe as the weather gets better, I'll be able to take my bike out. That's actually less stressful on my right knee than walking or jogging. Jogging is impossible. That's not going to happen. Um, but I think I'd ride my bike. It puts le less pressure on my knee than walking does. Um, so I do have a bicycle that I can take outside. Um... Exercise is certainly important to my mental health and not just the physical therapy, but exercise in general is good for 
my mental health and keeping busy is obviously the point of my daily schedule um, and to keep my mind occupied, to keep myself as healthy as possible. And uh, that's all to report on right now. Um, I did go see a few weeks ago the pulmonary specialist about the, my pulmonary fibrosis. He's not too concerned about it. There was no reason to do a biopsy. There was no reason to, reason to start any medications. Um, I certainly don't need oxygen. Um, certainly don't need a lung transplant. Um, in severe cases, those are the options. But my pi my pulmonary fibrosis just doesn't just doesn't seem to be of major concern to my pulmonologist. So it's just a wait and see and observe it sort of type thing as time goes on. Um, so that's all for now. Like, comment, share, subscribe.